Thank you. Breaking records and barriers in the tennis world is something Delray Beach's Coco Goff is known for. That's right. Her grandmother was actually doing it long before her as the face of civil rights and school integration nearly 60 years ago. WPTV News Channel 5's Chris Gilmore shares her story and the friendship it created lasting to this day. Before the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and after Brown versus Board of Education in 1954, much of Palm Beach County was divided among racial lines. Because remember, 1954 is when the Supreme Court ruled separate what's equal is not equal. Now you fast forward, 1961, Palm Beach County had not done anything. Yvonne Lee Odom started her high school career at the all-black Carver High School in Boynton Beach until the wheels of integration started rolling. My dad just nonchalantly said, well, Bonnie, you know, I signed some papers for you to go to Seacrest. And I just said, you did what? And I didn't initially want to do it, but then when I went to school the next day and word got around, you know, it was like, yeah, yeah, you should do it. Before the big day in September 1961, Seacrest principal Robert Fulton called a student council meeting asking for a volunteer to give Odom a tour of campus on her first day. The only one to volunteer was Paula White Adams. I asked her why. You're a girl at 15 and you're going someplace you've never been before and you're the first one to do it and you're all alone. The experience was all new for Odom who says the transition had its up and downs. And I think about my uh, science partner who didn't cringe because my teacher, Mr. Thurba, was matched us up and we dissected frogs and he didn't think it was like I was giving him the plague. Uh, and then I had the incidents where, you know, I'm walking across the gym and you could hear the, the N word come from the crowd. And I didn't react to it. When comparing the spirit of teenage Odom and her now famous tennis star granddaughter Coco Goff, Adam says she's sure of one thing. Tenacity is genetic. You're one and the same. Learn somebody for who they are. And that's what I tell people. If you don't like me after you know who I am, I'm okay. But don't just look at me, you know, and make a judgment about who I am. So. Yvonne and Paula's friendship took a break after 1962, closing this chapter. But today they say they keep in touch regularly and are the best of friends. Reporting in Delray Beach, Chris Gilmore, WPTV News Channel 5.